Stephanie Linus. Okay. It's Stephanie okay. Linus for now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, you know, I'm so used to calling that okay, okay, okay. It's something I, I don't know. know. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. I know quite a number of people will insist you add that middle name. I don't know why they do that. Everything, it all depends on choice, you know, choices, whatever you want, you know, but it just, there's something that I want is to just call me Stephanie Linus, that's fine. That is so <laughs> sweet. I'm sure Mr. Linus I think is the smiling. Brand is, <laughs> and the good thing is that the brand is strong enough that when you change your name, people still know that it, you're still the same By person. the grace of God, you won't change your name. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> same man. I am man. No, I won't change it. <laughs> I won't change my name. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's Stephanie Linus. It's Stephanie point. Linus. You know, it's, it, it just goes to show how confident you are in your mm -hmm. relationship. So, Stephanie, you know, the last time you were here, you were, then you just got hitched. You mm -hmm. know, so, you know, everything, the honeymoon and all of that. If I, you, you know, till today, I don't know of any wedding that's surpassed that one. <laughs> like a fairy tale wedding. Well, I don't know, huh? but I think everybody had... Well, I thank God for the kind of wedding that I had. I'm sure every other person had the kind of wedding they all, always wanted for themselves. So, hmm. yeah. who conceptualized it? Really, whose idea it's, was it? <laughs> I, I know, about. I know, it's some years back, but these are questions that uh, some people didn't have to know. the opportunity to ask, and this you is see, not the time. It, it, it's just funny. It, it came about. We wanted something different, and then we wanted to have a holiday for our parents and our brothers and sisters. That's actually how the idea came about. It was nice. It was something genuine. It was not something that uh, we did it like we we're trying to impress anybody. Mm -hmm. It was something that genuinely we wanted for ourselves and for our families. And then we extended it, extended it to our friends and colleagues and people who, you know, we care about. Wow. Yeah. You've grown up. <laughs> well, <laughs> change is constant. <laughs> I have to grow up. <laughs> That's a magic word. Oh, okay. Change. Oh, yeah. It's the only constant thing in life is change. So. You're married now. You're a mother now. And we all know that you're still in the works. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. you're still doing what you know how to do best. Yes. And that's making movies and touching lives through your works, yeah. you know, artistically. Mm -hmm. So how far so far in that um, department? Well, how, well, you know, my movie Dry premiered in Nigeria. We uh, released it. It has won several awards, and I've taken it to different places. I'm still, it's still in demand. I'm still taking it to different places, and it's one movie that I did that I had a mission, you know, and I knew that the girl child, the fistula issue, maternal maternal health issue we have in Nigeria is still ongoing, and so therefore my film will continue to be relevant. And I did it because I needed to create awareness, to change perception, to encourage people to have conversation and just change the status quo you know for, you know and I'm happy with the reception of the film with the result that he has you know brought about with even the consciousness he has created within the industry for filmmakers looking beyond themselves and understanding that we actually you know we have this power to create um, to define thought to define perception to change things so why not use the power pos positively and um, you know so that's what the movie is about and I'm happy that we've been able to even raise funds to actually treat the actual victims and we know we you know we're just it's a continuous process you know we went to Gambia we screened it in Gambia with the vice president and all of a sudden I'm hearing that Gambia has banned child marriage in Nigeria we're still working you know to make sure that we screen it in the house of assembly you know just screening in different places so that you know people's minds and perception. things perception will be changed so I'm happy that is the space that I am in right now so I'm happy that the movie has really moved and done a lot of wonderful things you know I'm just looking at you yeah. <laughs> I'm like I'm like am I saying something crazy I'm right now because like, okay what am I even saying <laughs> you know before I was looking through the glass uh, now, yeah yeah dry. Dry. <laughs> So I said, so I said, I feel no dry. I say, no, 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 there's nothing dry about Why the Why did you even come up with that um, title? I know, because in the context of the movie, the women are wet and all they want to be is dry. It's as Aww. simple as that. Do you understand? So it's just like when you repair a woman of fistula and she's like, oh my God, I'm dry. I'm no longer licking. So that's why the name. I thought I had, I say, ah, this Nigeria, this dry, dry Nigerian PG means something else. You know, but I just had to go with it because when I just explain to people what it means, they're like, oh, okay, I get it. You know, to think that you were once an actress, now you've gone behind the scene and you've come up with something that is so strong, compelling. You started with looking through the glass, yeah. now dry, yeah. and I'm sure maybe the next one will be wet. <laughs> 
I don't know. It depends on where the inspiration hit. But you know, it's going to be um, something fun. And I did a, a show called Make Me Fabulous also, you know, where we're treating couples, you know, yes, making yes, them have a fabulous I, yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. It's just that, you know, in the space where I am, it's that everything you do, there's an intent. There's a mission. Yeah. So do we tag you now as a social advocate? I don't know. I, I, I don't like titles, you know. I just do me, you know, because at the end of the day, it's only God that gives you the ability to do the things that it do, gives you the vision and gives you the strength to to do that okay yeah. so are we still going to see more of um, you acting of course you know i'm reading a script right i hold the script i'm reading a script now it's quite interesting a, a couple of um people are sent scripts sometimes you you get something i'm like ah oh, this is not really what i'm looking at but i'm open to it i'm an actress first and i love acting and mm. my dear it comes so easy because all i have to do is come and say read the lines and go but you producing your own movie you're going to go find the money <laughs> you find the people and after that post-production you mark it's a whole lot of work you know to actually produce your own uh movie so mm -hmm. i i love being an actress i love being all of this other thing okay remind us of all of these things again this, uh, <laughs> uh -huh, tell us now. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many things I, I i don't know they think there's so many things you know for instance i'm taking we like it with dry i wrote i produced i directed and acted in it you know that's a whole lot and sometimes it comes easy, uh, sometimes it doesn't, you know. So, uh, and I'm so many other things. I do philanthropy work, and I, I'm a wife, a mother, and uh, there's, there's so many things. Yeah, I keep discovering new things about myself, you know. So, share your latest <laughs> discovery with us. Hmm, you don't want to know. No, no, this one. Yeah, hey, no, I, ca I can't say it now. Let's look through the glass. <laughs> if I really look through the glass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my God. So, is there any role that's beneath you? I mean, yes, you have grown through the ranks. As far as you have any very interest, interesting script, hmm. what is beneath? I don't think there's, um, you don't look down on roles because filmmaking is a reflection of life. So there's no role that is beneath because if you write a script, you see all this different wonderful people in your own reality mm. so it, it, it all depends you know this is, i hope it's not like crazy but it all depends really i don't think i'll say oh this road is beneath me what i want to be is in a good production be it comedy drama action whatever thriller whatever it is so as far as the script is good the character is good it's challenging why not okay so putting into perspective the fact that you're married now your mother mm. now are there roles you would rather not play it depends. Would you act naked? It depends. You see, you see, it all depends. I wanna. It depends on how you, you see. As a creative person, there's a different ways to show nudity. It has to be tastefully done. But I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna go naked. Your <laughs> uh -uh. worst movie yet. There's no regret per se because it's more like every experience adds up. Every experience adds to your story. It's every experience pushes you to to discover something about yourself or push you to do something different. So I really don't have any regrets. It's more like lessons learned and trying to do better. Sometimes you look, you, you reflect back and then, you know, in a, you know, you just, you think of mm. the roles you have played the, and you think of it with so much nostalgia. What role and what film there, would that be? There, there's a lot, oh, you see, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. I liked my role in Dry. Uh, I liked, there's a lot. I liked my role in Emotional Crack. I liked my role in this. There's a whole lot of movies that I've done. I liked my role in, in Eye of the Gods. So many, yeah, so many interesting movies that I, when I watch myself, like, oh, that is so cute, you know? So there's so many, and I'm really open to a whole lot more roles to play, more hmm. challenging roles to play. So would you say this is your best, this is you, I mean, looking at you? Because sometimes you have to look in the mirror. And the, the, the woman in the mirror that reflects back at you, mm -hmm. what's your take on her? Hmm. What do I see when I look at myself in the mirror? Who am I? I'm just someone who wants to, if I think of something, I just do it. I try not to lose the child in me that has mm. the ability to dream. Because I think sometimes when you kill that little girl, that child, that child inside you, you, you stop learning. Mm -hmm. You must have loads of dreams mm -hmm. that are yet to be accomplished and yes. some accomplished. If you want to count mm -hmm. the five things you have done 
you know, that it's okay. Yes, this was part of my bucket list. It's done now. I'm happy. I've do achieved I, it. Do I have bucket list? I think every human being who breathes. Yeah, has one, right? Yes. I, I think I've achieved a, a couple. You, you keep discovering the dreams, so you <laughs> because certain things, situation you find yourself might make you think, why? You know, like sometimes you might even have dreams, but certain things, there's always a trigger point in your life. That's why we have experiences, because it, an experience will trigger something, and then you, you you find yourself birthing something out, something else will come out, and then you get to another level, something will trigger it, and another thing comes up. So the main thing is that you're open. To, to learn, you're open to explore and just keep, you know, dreaming and doing the things that make you happy. So, marriage, having a baby, becoming an actress, mm -hmm. all were all part of your bucket list, I suppose. You find if you make the right decision, it's easy. If you marry the right person, if you, those are the, I mean, the question, I'm trying to go back to your question. No, the no, question no, 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 I'm <laughs> enjoying the trend. Just keep going. The question, because the question is, if it's part of, it's just part of the things that if you get to, when you're ready, of yes. course, marriage is something you think about. And you pray to marry it at the right time, when you're actually very ready to get into it. So what has worked for you so far, even in your relationship? I think it's basically being true to who I am, you know, and not trying to, not trying to fake anything, really. You know, there's also compromises. You, you know, sometimes my husband, <laughs> my husband would say, okay, when you do this, okay. Picture me doing the same thing. So when you see through the eyes of the person, okay, let me not do it because sometimes it might be selfish in your thoughts yes, and not consider the other yes, person's feelings yes, so yes. sometimes it's good to be sensitive to other people's feelings what they're feeling and how you can contribute to make their lives better your own lives better how you can also find love between yourself so you can have enough love to give and um and really like you said being through to who you who you are you know when you talk what i what what, what i see mm -hmm. is a girl who is humble yeah who is grounded yeah have you always been grounded like this or it's something that you know life threw at you because you know you know in comparison with other people i mean in this your industry they are high up there and uh, they are just on their high horse is it life that has humbled you or is just your foundation i tell people that i have grace and uh, anytime i have to suffer too much to get something i know god is not in it <laughs> because i didn't come here to come and suffer like that i don't look down on anybody mm. because the only defense is just the opportunity that you had do you understand if the other person was given the opportunity maybe life could have been different i, I can talk to a president mm. and i don't lose myself mm. and i can talk to a madman on the street and i'm still the same person it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make, oh, I have to be seen with these rich people to belong. Hmm. No, I am whole as myself. So I think it comes from you knowing who you are, actually. Because when you know who you are, you're very comfortable with your skin. Because you know you're not trying to create an, any kind of impression, like, let me be with these people so that people will think I am. No, I am, I am, I am, and I know. You are who you are. <laughs> Do you understand? So when you know that, so you're very, and you're comfortable with your own skin, you don't, those inferiority or superiority complex doesn't bother you. So what has changed about you? You know, being a single girl and being a mother and a What and, changed? And a you wife. have a family now that you have to think about. When you look at your baby, uh, he opens his mouth, this guy is out to go and walk home. He's going to feed this baby. <laughs> 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 you, you understand? Or you see your husband. You know, it's, it's, it's life. I don't know how to explain what you expect to, you know, of course your priorities are going to change, you know, uh, you know, just like me coming like to my house, I'm coming for this thing, you know, now you can't just move, then you can all move and go, but now you can't move and go, you have to consider, so you have to, you know, tell Bobo, ah, we're going somewhere, well, it's okay, this is good time, you can go, and the uh, child, uh, you know, like, I was supposed to, I was invited somewhere, I was supposed to fly to somewhere, say, my dear, it's nanny and baby and myself, oh. before you can just, bah, you know, you can move, but now it has changed. But you just adapt to, you know, different situation that you find yourself. So of course, there, there's changes, and but it's good change, you know, and it's it's something that you're ready for. I don't know if I've asked that your question, <laughs> but you know, I'm just trying to feel you, you like this marriage talk. You know? no, I'm fascinated because you see, the thing is that sometimes people go into it, and before you know what's happening, it's all over. It's sad, and it, then the way you talk about it, you talk about it, and you 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 make people even want to go into it. Yeah, because you know there's certain things that have happened that, and you're not pretending about no, it. No, you don't. If you love, you love. That, 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 but it's sad when you see certain things going wrong, and you're like, oh my god, this will scare a lot of young people. 
not getting to marriage and say, oh, marriage is overrated. It's not, though. One of the reasons why I did my TV show called Make Me Fabulous, mm. because I wanted to find out, you know, Lagos is so stressful. How can we get couples to bond? Mm. And I, I, I did 13 episodes where I, I've gotten a lot of feedback from the couples because that one day that they even went out, they talked, they experienced something new. It's kind of like rejuvenated a lot of good things in mm. their lives. What's that thing that, you know, you love about this man so much? Hey, well, huh. See me, I have to enter local language in this yes, matter. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 Lino's head will be swelling right now. So I, 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 there's a whole lot of things. So that, that's I'm just trying to figure out what. Hmm. He's a strong man. Hmm. You know, that's just what I know. He's someone who's very confident in who he is. And someone who has also allowed me to blossom in 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 the way that I can. You know, when someone loves you, you know the person loves you and wants the best for you, you uh, best thing for you, even the things that he say to you. But I know there's one thing, I remember before I got married, there's one thing, we were on the train from London to, going to, from Paris, Paris to London, and I remember my husband saying something, you know what, you're actually my first priority. You know, he said that, you know, you know, there's certain things, all those things, you know, you don't forget. Mm. I say, you always remember the good ones, so don't be, the, don't be, <laughs> don't be storing the bad ones. You know, but he, he's such a great guy that, you know, he's, he just wants the best for you. You know, and you also want the same thing. And he loves you unconditionally. He's, he's trying to make you happy, make our family great, and, and takes good care of, you know, you. And um, you just know that you guys are going to go this thing in a very, in a very, no matter how it is. Mm. And that this is a journey that you want to take for a very long time. Why do you time. think he loves you that much? <laughs> oh, well, but he just gets me. And then uh. I get him. You know, I think so. You know, he's my guy. So, with, you know. And then the compatibility. When you talk about work compatibility, how do you, how do you even do it? How do you tweak it in such a way that, you know? It just respect boundaries and yeah. try not to, you know, respect boundaries and try to figure out how he's seen. You know, certain things that might do something um, unconsciously and innocently. Yes. And then he'll like, come, 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 no. I know you did this thing. In a I think the fact that you, you understand the intent, I understand the intent of why you do certain things. So you say, I know you did this thing so innocently, but see, this is the reflection, this is this, that, that. Or maybe when you go somewhere, I, you say you might not see this way, but th these are the impressions. So mm. I think he has find a way to let me understand, see, you, might not, you are seeing it one way, but these are other different mm. ways where you can do things. So. I think you respecting him, respecting what he brings to the table, and he and uh, he's a hardworking guy. You know, he takes care of our family, and and you don't feel stifled. No, because he, uh, uh, me, I can't frustrate you. He can't frustrate me now. So we, <laughs> do you understand? So you're really so, strong woman too now. So he has to, <laughs> no, so he has to allow us to blows up. You know? Would you say you're domesticated? I am. I stay in the house. Yeah, I'm like a house housewife. I am. I'm a house Minister of Home Affairs. Home Affairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Is that all? You, you're looking it for this. <laughs> you don't know where I'm going. I know. <laughs> I stay in the house now. Do I cook? I cook. Not all the time. So most of the time, I do cook. And then, how do you keep your? Because you have remained dreamed you know despite you know going through that nine months uh, process and all um, what's your secret what's the it, there's no secret here when you're not used to, i've never been this big so i was getting confused <laughs> 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 i was getting confused so i said okay for me not to get confused about myself let me just try and share a little bit away but you know i'm not it's not i'm not pressured so now um you are into acting you're into um movie productions and i want to believe that you have collaborations i want to collaborate with a lot of upcoming artists and uh, you know my husband we my husband runs this film academy where we've been able to train um, students in filmmaking in various aspects of it. And we've trained over a thousand, more than a thousand students. And, you know, I feel happy every day when I see their trailers. Some of them are in the cinemas. Some of them are working with uh, African Magic and so many other places, you know, you know, doing work and, you know, shooting movies. So you feel elated and feel very happy that, wow, these students are actually blows I mean, they're doing things. And those are some of the things we also want to do, you know, figure out a way to structure 
talk to the industry better and you know just keep doing impactful things yeah there's a couple of things that i'm working on and i wouldn't want to say yes so nice. yeah there's a couple of things i'm working on and as i'm ready i will be unleash how soon uh, very soon i don't know it all depends Tiffany. <laughs> i know you, the way you're like Bring it out. Bring it out now. Yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> One surprise I got was when I saw you with the Queen of England. And I'm like, how did this babe pull this stunt? Ah, who's ah. a stunt? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, call it a stunt, call it whatever. You trying to, you know, make a difference with the young people. Yeah. You know, is it like a calling? And how did you do it, actually? It's <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be asking my husband that. <laughs> Stephanie, you're the mouthpiece. You're the mouthpiece for the Linus family right now, so speak so. Yeah, you know, he's done a lot of work with, um, you know, underground. You know, he, there's an underground thing that you just do and uh, you just don't make noise about. You know, when we were approached to to give a face and a voice to the Queen's young leaders, you know, uh, you know, just say, oh, are you going to do this? I say, why not? You know, and they, they've seen some of the works that we've done and you know find out that okay they felt that these people should be the ones represented and that's what we did and then we got we were invited to come to uh, meet the queen and you know that's basically what we did okay. stephanie you're just you're, you're an embodiment of fun of excitement of you know you're yeah. so light-hearted humble and all of that yeah. so i say keep that spirit on thank and you. keep doing us proud thank you thank you so much for coming